Before time began, there was the cube. We know not where it comes from, only that it holds the power to create worlds, and fill them with life. That is how our race was born. For a time we lived in harmony, but, like all great power, some wanted it for good, others for evil. And so began the war, a war that ravaged our planet until it was consumed by death, and the cube was lost to the far reaches of space. We scattered across the galaxy hoping to find it and rebuild our home, searching every star, every world. And just when all hope seemed lost, message of new discovery drew us to an unknown planet called, Earth. But we were already too late. Optimus Intro Commentary The film begins with the history of Cybertron's destruction at the hands of Megatron, and his quest to obtain the All-Spark. Megatron discovers the All-Spark on Earth, but Crash lands in the Arctic Circle, becoming frozen in the ice. Captain Archibald Whittakey and his crew of explorers stumble upon Megatron's body in the late 19th century. Megatron's navigational system is unintentionally activated, and Archibald's eyeglasses are imprinted with the coordinates to the All Sparks location. Sector 7, a secret organization of the United States government, discovers the All Spark and builds the Hoover Dam around it to mask its energy signal. The still frozen Megatron is moved into this facility, and is reverse engineered to further advance human technology. In the present day, the rest of the Decepticons, Blackout, Scorponok, Frenzy, Barricade, Starscream, Bonecrusher, and Devastator, have already landed on Earth and assumed the disguise of Earth vehicles. Blackout and Scorponok attack the USSOCCENT forward operations base in Qatar in an effort to use the military database to discover the location of Megatron and the All Spark, but they do not succeed. A small group of survivors under Captain William Lennox wander through the desert and are followed by Scorponok. The autonomous robotic organism, shortened to Autobot, known as Bumblebee, is also on Earth, disguised as a 1977 Chevrolet Camaro, and looking for Sam Whittakey the descendant of Captain Archibald Whittakey. As soon as he locates Sam, the two quickly begin to bond as Bumblebee helps Sam try and woo his crush, Michaela Baines. Sam is unaware of the fact that Bumblebee is an alien, until he witnesses Bumblebee transform and send out a homing signal for the rest of the Autobots. At the Pentagon, Defense Secretary John Keller oversees the investigation into the attack in Qatar. After Blackout's failure, Frenzy infiltrates Air Force One and attempts to download all information relating to Project Iceman. However, Maggie Madsen, one of the technicians studying the Decepticon infiltration signal, discovers Frenzy's actions and convinces the Pentagon to take down the defense network, halting Frenzy's download. When Air Force One makes an emergency landing, Frenzy slips into barricade and discusses his discovery of Archibald Whittakey, who has seen their language. Using an internet search, they discover that Sam's glasses will lead the Decepticons to the All Spark. Frenzy and Barricade begin tracking Sam's location. Back in Qatar, the army rangers are attacked by Scorponok, who take refugee in a nearby village. Calling the Pentagon and getting air support, they discover that the Decepticons are vulnerable to high heat weaponry such as Sabo rounds. Using this information, the soldiers inform the Pentagon that they now have a weapon. Barricade confronts Sam, demanding Archibald's glasses. Bumblebee, who is following Sam, transforms and battles Barricade. Michaela, who is also following Sam, is caught in the crossfire, but Bumblebee is able to defeat Barricade, while Michaela decapitates Frenzy, who is still functioning and hides in Michaela's purse as her cell phone. Bumblebee takes Sam and Michaela to rendezvous with the rest of the Autobots. The Autobots, Optimus Prime, Jazz, Ironhide, and Ratchet, land on Earth and take on the forms of several Earth vehicles. They all meet in a dark, secluded alley, transform in front of the two amazed humans, introduce themselves and tell of the reasons they had to come to Earth to Sam and Michaela. Meanwhile, Maggie made a copy of the intrusion signal and shows it to her friend Glenn Whitman, who discovers a message with the signal about Sector 7, Captain Whittakey, and Project Iceman. However, the FBI arrest Glenn and Maggie, who desperately tries to convince them not to go to war with the wrong country. Sam, Michaela, and the Autobots then return to Sam's home to retrieve the glasses. However, agents from Sector 7 arrive to take Sam and Michaela into custody. Seymour Simmons, the agency's director, reveals that Michaela has a criminal record and threatens Sam with life imprisonment, at which point the Autobots disable the convoy and rescue the teens. During the retreat, Sam and Michaela are recaptured, 
and Bumblebee is also apprehended, against the pleas of Sam who assures the agents, to no avail, that he means them no harm. Prime orders the Autobots to let them go, unwilling to use deadly force against the humans. At the Pentagon, a virus frenzy uploaded during the Air Force One hack causes a global communications blackout, while Keller is finally informed of the Decepticons. After Bumblebee's capture, Optimus uses the glasses to locate the AllSpark at Hoover Dam, and declares that if they cannot defeat the Decepticons, he will merge the cube with his spark. Sam, Michaela, Keller, Maggie, Glenn, and Lennox's unit are brought to Hoover Dam, where they are shown the frozen Megatron and the AllSpark, while Frenzy slips away. Locating the AllSpark, he sends out an alert to Starscream, who mobilizes the rest of the Decepticons. Due to Starscream's attack and Frenzy's sabotage, Megatron begins to revive, and Sam convinces the Sector 7 agents to release Bumblebee so that he can get the AllSpark to Optimus Prime. The Decepticons chase the Autobots, who now possess the AllSpark, into Mission City. Glenn, Maggie, Keller, and Simmons manage to contact the Air Force and direct F-22s to Mission City. They end up fighting Frenzy at the same time and Frenzy ultimately decapitates himself. An ensuing battle results in casualties for both sides, including Jazz, who is killed by Megatron, while Bumblebee is crippled in an explosion. As Lennox orders Sam to take the AllSpark to a building to be removed from the city, under escort from Ironhide and Ratchet, Megatron and Optimus Prime battle, while the soldiers remain to fight Devastator. Michaela drags the injured Bumblebee away from the battle with a tow truck, but goes back, with Bumblebee's weapons killing Devastator. Ironhide and Ratchet are incapacitated by Starscream, and Megatron joins the pursuit. Sam's helicopter is destroyed by Starscream, and Prime challenges Megatron. The battle is fierce and Megatron slowly gains the upper hand. Blackout attempts to help Megatron defeat Prime, but is killed by Lennox and the Air Force before he can engage. Starscream hides among a Raptor squadron, destroying three fighters. Despite this, the Air Force and Lennox's Rangers manage to inflict serious damage on Megatron, but he is still functional, and heading toward the cube. Optimus lashes out, striking Megatron to the ground. Finally, with both Prime and Megatron weakened, Prime beckons Sam to shove the AllSpark into his chest, destroying them both, but Sam instead takes the riskier action of shoving the AllSpark into Megatron's chest. Note. For an extensive synopsis of the battle, see separate article Mission City. Optimus thanks Sam for his courage and for saving his life, while Bumblebee, who has regained his voice, asks permission to remain with Sam, which is granted. In an attempt to cover up the existence of the Transformers, Sector 7 is disbanded, while the remains of the Decepticons are cast into the Laurentian Abyss. And though Megatron is dead, the AllSpark's destruction leaves the Autobots unable to restore Cybertron. With no other home to go to, the Autobots decide to stay on Earth, and Optimus sends out a signal across space in an effort to locate any surviving Autobots, while Sam and Michaela begin a relationship. Starscream one of the Decepticons that survived the battle, leaves Earth. With the AllSpark gone, we cannot return life to our planet. And fate has yielded its reward. A new world to call. Home. We live among its people now, hiding in plain sight, but watching over them in secret, waiting, protecting. I have witnessed their capacity for courage, and though we are worlds apart, like us, there's more to them than meets the eye. I am Optimus Prime and I send this message to any surviving Autobots taking refuge among the stars. We are here. We are waiting. Optimus Prime's closing narration.